a bronze medal winner last year. One year later, a chance for BC's first gold on the men's side since 2000. Final stone, Tyler Tardy. Needs the nose hit. Stick around on the news. Good for a championship. They'll look it over to be sure. One yellow. Good. And gold it is for BC on home soil. You can always be better. There's no real perfect player. Um, yeah, there's there's always something you can do better. It doesn't matter how good you are at this game. Uh, to knowing that there is a chance that you can be the best, but you just need to work hard at it. Uh, it really keeps me going. I, I really want to be on top. It, it's just my competitive nature. What an opportunity to cap off the week. Clean. A chance to go back to back with his brother. A chance to go back to back with his team. BC champions once again. Enjoy it again. Eight for the final score. And the celebration they've been waiting for. I started curling with uh, watching my dad sort of competitively curling in Cloverdale. Um, every night we'd want to go watch him and drink hot chocolate and watch him play. One day he let me out on the ice and kind of been hooked ever since. Yeah, the first one was a little bit upsetting just because we just got to shine the playoff season. So I mean, or sorry, the tiebreaker. Um, but I think that's what really pushed us to do better last season. And um, yeah, we made a ton of changes last season with how we go about calling games, making shots, opening practice and all that. And uh, yeah, honestly, even though it was disappointing losing that, I think that's what we needed to make that next step. And um, yeah, we still carry on a lot of that stuff that we learned from losing the tiebreaker that first year. And yeah, it was, it's always a huge honor to wear the Maple Leaf, obviously. To do it twice in a row is just kind of a nice feeling. Uh, yeah, it was with Sterling, Carly Burgess, and Mary Faye, uh, Coach Helen Radford. Um, yeah, that was a different experience just because it's more, I'd say, social because there's a lot more than just curling, there's hockey, skating, all that stuff. So yeah, you get to know a whole lot more of Team Canada. Actually, one of our mates was drafted onto the Montreal Canadiens. So it's kind of nice to follow along with the other uh, people you met there are doing. And yeah, it's, it's a whole lot more of an experience than just playing one event on it. Playing in a slam is probably the highlight for me, even though we went, uh, I think it was one and three. Even though we won one game, it was, we've always looked up to those players and wanted to play in slams for our whole life. So yeah, that was probably the highlight <laughs> by far. I've always wanted to play them and I want to go back just as bad as I did even without going to one. And yeah, I'd really like to go back to this someday. And, like on the higher level. Yeah, it, it kind of brings a little bit of comfort that even even if you're not doing what you want, um, you still got that support and you still got the family. You're still loving what you're doing regardless of the result. And yeah, it's it's been a great journey with them. I think we all help each other build. And yeah, they've they've always been a big part of my life and a positive side to my experience.